Hi, this is Van with Turbo Power. In this video, we're going to be talking about the most important aspect of our family of USB charging ports, power. Power is measured in three different ways, amps, volts, and watts. When you think about how amps, volts, and watts interact with each other, you can picture your charging cord as a garden hose. Amps is the amount of water that's flowing through the hose. Volts is the amount of pressure that the water is flowing through that hose. And then watts is the amount of power that the water is coming out of the hose. If you were to spray it at a water wheel or something like that, how fast would that water wheel be moving? If you were to send power through this hose, how fast is it going to charge your devices? So when we talk about amps first, the amount of water in the hose, we can start with our TA-102. This charges at a standard 2.1 amps, and that's enough to keep your smaller, older devices going, powered on, and it will give you a great, solid charge. Then we step up with our digital clock, our MD93, which has three amps of power coming out of each charging port. Our TA-202 and our TA-360 both also have three amps coming out of the unit, but the TA-360 has a little something special with voltage that we'll get to in a minute. As we talk about voltage, 5 volts is your standard voltage that is required by almost any device. So even your larger devices that want a ton of power will still charge at 5 volts. That's a pretty standard voltage. All of these units that I mentioned with the exception of the TA360 will output 5 volts of charge. The TA360 can step that up even higher. Using USB power delivery PD technology, the TA360 can charge anywhere from 5 volts all the way up to 20 volts. So why is this important? They're all charging at up to 3 amps, all the TA360 units, but when the TA360 charges at 9 volts, 9 volts times 3 amps is 27 watts of power. So for your fast charging phones, for your tablets, they want 9 volts rather than just your standard 5 volts. Step that up again, the TA360 can also charge at 15 volts. This can charge even larger tablets, even laptop computers might want 15 volts of charge. 15 volts times 3 amps would be 45 watts of power. And then last but not least, the TA360 can get all the way up to 20 volts of power. 20 volts is something that you, most of your standard laptops will accept. It's more than any tablet or any smartphone would ever need. 20 volts times 3 amps, 60 watts of power coming out of each port of the TA360. As opposed to 15 watts of power coming out of the TA202 and the MD93, or 10.5 watts of power coming out of the TA102.